Hi guys, it's Stacy. I'm back to share a journal I made. This is a custom order that I did for someone who wanted a nice rustic journal for their cottage. Um, sort of like a guest book, coffee table book, somewhere where people can write what they want to put in and just sort of, you know, kind of a free for all for different guests that come and go. And then a, a really good memory book and a place to sort of, you know, uh, keep track of, you know, different things that have gone on at the cottage. So I did follow a tutorial by the Dream Fairy DIY uh, video or YouTube channel, and I'll link that below where you can see where I did this technique. It's, you know, it's, there's chipboard and it's was done with spackle paste and I've layered it with different paints and I even did like oven baked clay to make all these little nails. And then I did a little bit of brush of gold, old gold on it. And I did the same with, um, this little chipboard frame that I had. I'll just get a little closer here so you can see just the technique. And then it is all really sealed well with a medium. And then the back is exactly the same. Love how it turned out. It was my first time doing this and I was really happy. I took my time and just watched the video a few times just to make sure I could get that right. And then her, I took this picture from her Facebook page and this is at the lake from the cottage looking out to the lake and uh, there's a lot of birch trees around so I really wanted to give that crackle effect to make it look like the birch trees so it turned out really nice and then of course a little bit more of that old gold and then there's lots of paper in here and I did some nice pretty fabrics a little bit of lace so she gave me a lot of ideas to run with um, different things like butterflies and obviously lake, you know, themed, and flowers and stuff that she has at the lake as well. So this is a really heavy book and I put this towel down because it's very loud and I had to do this video a few times. So now I don't get that really loud knocking noise. So I put a little library card and pocket there. And I had this nice paper from, I'm pretty sure it's Reminiscence and I got it at scrapbook.com. And it, you've got the, you know, sort of real life, sort of imagery of the lake and I mean you'll see some more in here but I just put a lot of random pages now this is Elsie Bell's bookshelf with some birds yes birds was the other thing that she requested uh, flowers and butterflies this is some vintage ledger I've added a few things just to play with in here one of her other requests apparently is they have a thing with the going on at the cottage about flamingo so I did slip a few things I had which wasn't much but there'll be a few little flamingo things in there um the pockets have personal things in it those are for her um her and I are related so I wanted to put a few personal things that I had found for her that um she will really appreciate so and there's some more ledger and I have a few little little sewn bits. This has got a little deer. And the paper pack had like, you know, sit back and relax. Like these little um, ephemera pieces to cut, cut apart. And this one here is another one. The lake is my happy place. And I did this sort of um, with my ink stains just to make it look sort of an eco dyed. And then I did add, this is the Nick the Booksmith eco stain digital and then I did more of the Elsie Bell's bookshelf and there's another little live love lake and I added some and I had another one by reminiscence reminiscence I'm pretty sure it's what's called I'll look it up um where it was a little wine and friends and stuff so I added a few pages of that a little bit of wine themed and then there's lots of space like nice writing space Lots of these little guest checks. These are TLC Creates Vintage, I believe. I'm just gonna go along when I remember. They'll all be listed below, but when I remember, I'll try and I'll let you know. Um, this was, uh, um, I can't remember the name of that one, but it'll be listed below. Uh, anyway, that's an attached, attached envelope there. And there's more fabric here. And then there's some of that lake paper. It's a hummingbird. 
These are, this is my mind's eye paper. And of course I've added uh, Edith Holden pages and I added the June pages from Edith Holden book because um, her birthday is in June. This is newer. This is a nice big pocket in here. This is some more ink stained paper. This was a flip. I really like this piece of fabric because it looked had the flower, but it also had a little heart there. This is Leanna scrap, calico collage. And there's a, a nice dock. There's the June. And little, these are graphic 45 note cards. And these little bits here were from a um, a paper pad from Michaels. Um, I did do some doily digitals through here and they are Roxy Creations by Sarah, her digitals. And I will make sure that that's listed below as well. And the, this is Prima. Little fabric there. There's some more wine themed paper. I've added these little fun cards for at the cottage, note and beer um, tasting sort of score cards there, little party cards. Line pages, there's some more ephemera. And then um, just some more cards, uh, a little tag that I stitched. I stitched around and add some fabric. I have lots of little postcards. This this one here is open as well. Oh, there's some flamingos. Added a little bit of fabric here. There's the other side of that doily, hanky, whatever. Vintage embroideries. Um, little note cards here. She can take these out. This is birds that say friends. Uh, these would fit some pictures. This one here is uh, Ephemera's Vintage Garden, or uh, Hanky Digitals. This is uh, Roxy Creation by Sarah as well. Here's more of Elsie Bell's bookshelf. And digitals, more of my ink stained pages. That's beautiful. And there's the other side. I love that one with the Adirondack chairs there, or some people call them Muskoka chairs, depending on where you're from. Here in Canada, that's what, I think that's what most people in Canada, we all call them Muskoka chairs. And then uh, there's some more Edith Holden. This is vintage paper. These are all little vintage doilies that I had. I'd got them at a thrift store and I cut them up. Um, this is also one of Sarah's digitals. Um, you could actually glue it down and use it as a background or a tuck spot. These are Elsie Bell's bookshelf as well. I just printed a lot of these out on sticker paper and just be able to place them in there. This is a nice background for photos. Here's some more of my postcard collection. I love that wood grain. There's the other side of that lake paper. This is Can Company paper, another graphic 45 card. Uh, this is a nice big pocket for four by six photos or bigger, depending on how you cut them. Now, um, this the the person getting this journal is a scrapbooker as well, so she will know what to do to add her photos and stuff like that. She can she knows how to do all her background, how to use her backgrounds. Some nice graph paper. This is Elsie Bell's. This is that rem that wine paper. I love this, um, the corks background with the wine ring stains. This is just a little envelope here. Done some stitching. Oops, get over there. Like this sort of nature kit. This uh, this came in the same kit, so I backed that. This is one of Sarah's. Um, doilies. I just did line paper on the back. On lake time. More cards. I believe that's another little flamingo back there. This is some watercolor paper. I do know that she likes to watercolor so if she wanted to do something on there. 
So lots of gorgeous papers, wine and friends. There's a recipe card in here, guest check. You could stick down lots of photos in here, but I mean, even just, even the backgrounds are still nice and light. You can still write with a nice pen over top of everything. This is TLC Creates Vintage. More fabric, this is a personal thing for her. Um, there's another personal one in here. This little bit of guest check here, a little retro. This has um, a bunch of stickers and stuff in here that she can use to decorate. There's some more of those little labels. There's a nice big wood grain with a stain effect on it. And then in the back, I added another little butterfly. Um, I'll list the shop that I got these from. These are nice little note cards. And this is an um, plastic pocket here, a clear plastic pocket. You can stick some things in there. And uh, yeah, so this is a big book. <laughs> it's super heavy. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and uh, let me know what you think. And like I said, it's a custom order and I am starting to receive custom orders now. I wasn't doing them before, but I'm having so much fun with the the ones I have going on right now that um, I may continue to do to do them. So anyway, guys, take care and I will see you again very soon.